This is the MeanJet MX2 from Sneed Coding Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about your edit function, which will allow you to manage and access your files. So go ahead and click the edit button here. That's going to take you into your message editor. Uh, this is where we're going to have access to edit your files, uh, manage your files. Well, of course, we can get back out to the main menu using the exit button. Uh, if we uh, click on edit file right now, not much is going to happen. If we go to our manage file, You'll notice that we just have one file currently in here, default.spr. That's the one that's preloaded on everything. Uh, we can load the file for printing. We can choose to edit that file, or we can delete the file. Uh, or if we happen to be accessing the USB U disk and we se select a file there, we can select move to local to move it to the uh, local drive. But right now, we're going to stick with what we've got here. Uh, we're going to go to uh, uh, the default and we're going to load that file. It takes us back to the main menu and that file is now ready for printing. Now if you wish to edit a file, we're going to go back into the edit menu. Right now we've got a blank file. It always starts off with a new file here, so no need to load anything. If we want to add text to the file, we simply just select the text object button here. And as you can see, we've got objects for time, counter, image, barcode, QR code, DM, or data matrix code. And we can choose to delete any of those entries. Uh, over on the right here, we uh, have the edit button. This will allow us to edit the information that, for the text object, as well as our save or save as if we want to create a copy of the file. So right now, we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and select the edit button here. And we always want to make sure to empty it out because nothing's going to appear in the field at the top here until we've actually uh, typed it into the lower field here. So we'll hit the empty button. You'll notice that that goes away there. And now we're just going to go ahead and type in too many. There's a backspace there. Did it again. And there we go. So nothing's in the top field there. We're going to go ahead and click on finish. And now you see it populates there. So that's our first line of the message. If we wanted to add a second line, it's as simple as just as selecting the text button again. And we're going to take this field, touch it to select it. You see it turns red. Now we can just drag it down to the second head there. And we'll click on edit and make sure to empty out the field. Type in our next entry. Got that. Go ahead and click on finish. See it populates in the print preview area there. Uh, it's not exactly in the correct position for where I'd like it. I'm going to go ahead and move it over just a bit. Now, as I moved it, it also changed my coordinate positions. We've got your X and Y coordinates here. Uh, X is your left and right. Y is your up and down in the field here. We've got our rotation. We can rotate any of these objects like a clock. Uh, and the larger the number, the more uh, that it goes around clockwise. Uh, we've got our font selected as SimSum. That's our default. Uh, we do have the ability to select multiple fonts. We've got quite a few for you to choose from. One of the most popular uh, for printing and coding is Arial. We'll go ahead and select that. And now we've got our size set to 150. Well, that's just not quite large enough to take up the full half inch. So we're going to go ahead and grow that. Now this print preview area is what we call WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get. Now I like that size. I'll go ahead and note that that's 258. So I want to match my top numbers to that. Select those. They turn red now that you know I can edit them. And just go ahead and grow that size up to 258. There we go. Now, as you can see, the fonts no longer match. So let's go ahead and correct that. There we go. And move this over. All right, now we're ready to save the file. I always want to check our location. We're in local disk. If you wanted to save it to a USB to move to another uh, printer or location, you could do that. But right now, 
we're just going to make sure to select the file name field and then we're just going to name this one Sneed. One too many E's. There we go. And click OK. It takes us back to our message editor. The file is saved. Now we're going to click on Manage File. Select Sneed. And we're going to load the file. And it's ready to print. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for using Sneed Coding Solutions.